Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. In the previous episode, Kanji joined the team and we had a talk with Dojima. Speaking of Dojima, we're doing that again, and yak yeah, I'm bored! Wanna hang in? <laughs> oh, you're that bored. Yes, I am. Not really. I actually have tons of things to do, but... Decided to spend my day with you, and I was thinking of making some coffee. All we got is instant, though. How do you take it? Um... Surprise me. Why not? <laughs> it's one of my uh, more favorite lines, and... Alright! I'll pour you a good one. <laughs> Alright, it seems like he's, uh, he's having a good time, and... Dad, the news is charging! Oh, coffee? Can I have some? What? Nanako, you're in the first grade! <laughs> sure thing. Plenty of sugar and cream, right? Yeah! <laughs> I want a black! <laughs> Go watch TV with Nanako. I'll bring it to you when it's ready. Alright, it <laughs> seems that this family, uh, has their coffee, you know, like 9 p.m. But hey, I guess that's sort of normal, and it's okay. Making coffee is my only job, right? <laughs> Making coffee, not copy. <laughs> oh, man. When I got married, her mother made me promise one thing. And what was that? She said that this is all I have to do around the house, but nobody else can do it. So, well, you know, it's habit now. Oh, I see. <laughs> I was pretty generous of her. I guess she didn't like making coffee, and we saw an unexpected sign, a little humorous. From Dojima today, different contrast than the last time when we were in, you know, doing Nonako's social link. He was kind of mad at us, but you know, that, that's just how people are, man. We have our ups and downs. That's life, you know? This is the only promise I can really keep these days. Well, anyway, sit over there. Oh, all right. <laughs> sit right there, you high school! <laughs> it's like demanding me, bro, and in our next story. On the outskirts of Okina today, a one bicyclist was hit by a car and died on the scene. Oh. Nanako. Turn the TV off. Uh, okay. Um. Oh, God. It's not seem like he's taking that well. It was because they showed a story about a traffic accident. Mom died in an accident. I don't remember it. And Dad won't talk about it. Oh my god. Oh man. Ugh. Heavy stuff, guys. That's what they hear if it's all about. <laughs> oh my god. The instant noodles really hit the spot. You know, the rainy season's just about here. Isn't it a little early? Once it starts, it'll be raining every night. We'll have to keep a constant eye on the midnight channel. Crap, I didn't even think of that. Well, so it goes. <laughs> I thought you were worried about the rain because of the school camp out. Why are you so excited about that? That's right, it's the first time for you two. You realize the only purpose of the school campout is to develop a love for one's hometown and young people, right? Yeah, they tell us that up front, so? Well, you see, the way we supposedly develop that love is by picking up trash off the mountain. Picking up trash? Develop a love my ass. That's slave labor. Well, the night's kind of fun. We cook our own meals with mess kits and sleep in tents. The four of us are in the same group. The same group, huh? Does that mean we sleep together at night, too? You wish. Guys and girls sleep in different tents. I'm warning you. If you leave your tent at night, you'll be expelled on the spot. This gets worse and worse. I thought it was going to be fun. It's only for one night, and we disband before noon the next day. It doesn't last very long. Oh, we did have some fun at the river before going home last year. 
do they let you go swimming? I think so. There's always someone who takes a dip, although we didn't. I see. So you can swim in the river. Oh god, Yosuke, what are you planning? Whatever it is, it'll no doubt be some fun. And god, please no. Nakami! Get you know this week is hot week! And you're not part of the student health association! In other words, you're a lazy bum! Uh, I hate Lazy, good for nothing kids like you! So I'm sending you up to take place of a sick member! Uh, okay. Wait! Uh, that's not fair! Yeah, no kidding. Crying you! I don't know what school is like for you city kids, but here, it's every student's duty to pitch in! Well, that was actually how it was in this city, too. Doesn't change if you come to Unibud. You know, don't tell me that! You uh, okay, Moroka. I'll help out, man, if you're so adamant about this. I see! Then straight to the infirmary! Right away! Mm, they should be expecting you, since I already told them that you'd do it. <laughs> thank me. Uh, thank you, Mr. Moroka. So, uh, yeah. Good luck. Thanks, thanks, Chia. I think I'll need it. And I'll probably need some goss for my. Bleeding ears. More cotton. Oh, you coon was it? The transfer student ra I'm sorry if I make every girl sound like that, by the way. That's just my only voice. <laughs> and we told him our predicament that we're here to, well, fill in for the sick guy, sort of against our will. And thank goodness we were learning really low on people. We need to check around the school and see if anyone needs help. But someone has to stay and watch this room. Uh, you coon, would you mind staying here and dealing with anyone that stops by? Uh, sure thing. No touching the medicine! We know you want to get high! I mean, uh, if someone needs help, just use first aid. Got it. The only thing you need to worry about are salesmen and phone calls. But they're pretty uncommon. Uh, alright. And the moment she says that, we get a phone call. Yeah, actually, no, not a phone call, but a guy. And hello, I'm Kiato from Santo Pharmaceuticals. Ugh. <laughs> alright, bro. What's going on? Aren't there any adults here? Could you deliver m a message for me? Your school placed an order for gauze, but I need to know if the order can wait until th the next month. Uh, wait, the month after that crap, I said that wrong. Give my regards to the Shut up, man! I am the teacher. Not really teacher. Thanks for help. Anything happen? Well, yeah, a dude came by from the pharmaceutical stuff. I wasn't really paying attention and oh, we should call Sensei. Uh, did you remember his name? He was... Oh. Well, he was definitely Kaito. I want to say Santo Inc, but I'm pretty sure that's it. You want to pick that? Okay, let, let's see if I was correct or after I have to restart this whole recording. <laughs> and what did he say? Could it come in next month? I... Or is it the next next month? I'm apparently not a great listener, but I guess we'll find out depending on uh, the prompt that we get. I always mess up on that, and I contacted them immediately. Thank you. All right. You gave the cr Okay, we did give the cr So if you're playing at home, that's what you want to do to get the expression and knowledge. And let's discuss what we found. We ran around the school. Oh, that's right. You went alone. <laughs> oh. Yeah, since Konishi isn't here. Oh, I guess they split into teams, but... There's an odd number. What do they do when you... Oh, Konishi. Wait, wasn't that... Saki's last name? Yeah, poor thing. So you just have to do his part, too. No, oh, apparently... What's going on? I don't understand. Sorry, I'm late. Oh. I guess it... Uh, it's okay. You don't have to come, really. Helping out your parents... To... Oh, this is Saki's... Brother, from the very beginning of the game? I don't know how I forgot that, but I did. Imagine that, and... Yeah, he's here, but... Yukum came to clean up the room, so you, you can go home. You don't, have, you don't gotta do nothing, man. Come on, relax. Even though you're already here. Uh, well, goodbye. Alright, they just leave, I guess. Hi, I'm Konishi first year. Sup, dude? You know, Saki Konishi. 
I'm her brother. You're friends with Hanamura, right? Well, yeah. You hate him and you hate me? What? I didn't even do anything to you, dude. Can I go home now? Sure. I'd really help cleaning, but I guess you want to have a special predicament. Uh huh. Yeah, see you later, Konishi. So we helped out at the Health Association and we had a interesting encounter with Saki's brother. You apparently had the leftovers in the very beginning of the game. I'll bring that up because I, I, I almost sort of forgot he was supposed to show up today. Not even gonna lie. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Anyways. We are going to the Velvet Room again, because we need a Magician Arcana Persona. And who can I ditch here? I'd like to hang on a Bareth, because he's such good uh, fusion fodder for Personas. But Yeah, we don't really need him for any social links and for quite some time, so we'll get rid of him. And he's in our compendium when we need a reslum him, then yes. We're going to be grabbing Pixie, because Pixie is the cheapest. We don't want to spend too much yen if we don't have to. On summoning up Personas. It's not really my main point. But you're going to want... Uh, is she Priestess? I'm 100% sure she is Priestess. I'm going to double check. Okay, sweet. You're going to want a Priestess Arcana Persona, a Magician, and a Chariot. For pretty much just rule of thumb, like almost the whole game. So make sure you have these matching arcanas for any event that you do with the game in the game, really. If you're going for 100%, gotta say I'm not a too big a fan of that mechanic. To be honest with you, it's like kind of just adds on to the things you have to do. And once you have that persona, it's not really hard. But I will stop complaining because I gotta go to bed. And uh, it's June already, huh? All well, good news, Tatsumi-kun from the first year is back with us! So let's try and set a good example. <laughs> okay, Mr. Kodo, I'll make sure to do that. I know it's the rainy season, you may not be very motivated. But let's keep our spirits together. Anyway, I really hate this weather since I can't go out and exercise, but watching sports on TV isn't bad either. <laughs> I saw Haikidon competi- What the heck is Haikidon? Hmm... That is an interesting question, and, uh, Yukun, what is Haikida? Well, that, wait, hi Haikinda, that would be balance beam competition, because that's a Japanese word for it, which makes this whole question really confusing. I really wonder what that is in the um, Japanese version of this game, and balance beam is Hika, Hiki, beam, <laughs> thinking of lasers and stuff, but it refers to timber. And balancing on a wooden beam is mighty tricky. Boom! The sport of balanced beam is born. Oh, I never really thought of it that way. Interesting. You're a smart guy, you can <laughs> Thanks. And uh you could go like that we gave her the right answer. Super. Hey, guess what I just heard? When they're sitting in back of you, it's like a squeeze play! Come on, you know what I mean? Sorry, I got ahead of myself. What I mean is... I'm talking about how when there's a girl sitting behind you on a motorcycle, they press right up against your back! make me spell it out anyway I think motorcycles are the hot new thing for guys now girls like guys who spend time outdoors right so I got you this want to get your license with me partner well I can't afford anything bigger than a scooter on my budget but at least that'll let us get to new places don't you think we deserve that much, seeing as how we're investigating the case? Sup, senpai? Hey, about the camping trip... You guys busy right now? 
kinda. We're talking about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You gonna go stomp a gang? If you're bringing a war, I'll help. No, we're not bringing a war. What does that mean, anyway? We're just talking about getting motorcycle licenses. Licenses? You guys don't have yours? Huh? No way. Don't tell me you already... Nah, I'm still 15 and all. Then why'd you say it like that? Man, that reminds me. I'm surprised you picked a fight with that biker gang. How'd you chase after them? Eh, a bike's all I need for that. In any case, we can't let you in on our up-close-and-personal plan. Up-close-and-personal? What does that mean? Keep it down! Like I was telling this guy, what a guy needs nowadays to be a big man is first, a motorcycle, and then... And then... A girlfriend. Now that's my partner. All right then. You guys gonna get licensed for the big stuff? I mean, I know I came in late here, but if you're talking about taking a girl on a bike, you gotta be seating too, man. That ain't allowed on a scooter. I forgot about that. Shut up, this'll work out. As long as we have a motorcycle, the girls will come running. That's all the advantage we'll need. Now listen carefully. The reason we don't have girlfriends is because we're stuck here in this town waiting to meet someone. This place is so tiny, it's no wonder we can't find one. It doesn't matter if it's only a scooter. Some kind of motorcycle is just the ticket for us to get some chicks. Then, later on, we can get a bigger motorcycle. And that's when the up close and personal plan really starts. Up close and personal? Plus, you know, you and me have more of a city boy thing going on. If we're serious about this, we've got to expand our horizons to a bigger town. We got to take the initiative. There's no time to wait for a train that only leaves every so often each day. We'll roar up on our motorcycles like the badasses we are, and when the chicks come up, we'll play it cool. The pheromones dripping off of us will bring them around in no time. What, fe feral zone? No, we're not going to a cat house, you idiot. I'm talking about pheromones. My research shows that a motorcycle is the number one surefire way to increase a man's pheromones. Pheromones. Dude, that's how a perv would react. What did you say? Fine, then I'm in too. Get ready for Kanji Tatsumi to show his manhood to these chicks. I already told you, you can't. Anyway, don't tell anyone about this, got it? If other guys try to copy us, it'll end up diluting our pheromones. So, partner, make sure you talk to your uncle about getting a license, okay? Got it. Not you. I don't even know your uncle. I'm serious about this. If we have motorcycles, we can go all over. It'll be fun! Man, somewhere out there, the best days of our youth are ahead of us. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. So, Yosuke's plan is to get a motorcycle license, and that will somehow increase our male pheromone. <laughs> yeah, I don't... But it uh, isn't the worst idea I've ever heard, so we'll make sure to ask Dojima about that tonight. If he's home, and I need to save real fast. Because, yet again, we are going to be eating at the Aya restaurant, and I need some soda. Guys, come on, you can't drink soda without food. No, you can definitely do that. I usually just don't eat food without something to drink, because it's hard to get down my esophagus. <laughs> what am I speaking of? I'm not too sure, but today the rainy day special we are going to need an increase in courage and diligence if we do not get those you need to reset most likely and yes we'll get courage to brave nice that is what i needed and eh, too bad mister shut up i own <laughs> come back if i feel like it
Ah, you're back. Hi there. You want some meal too? Fair warning, it's from the supermarket. Well, excuse me. It's delicious, though. I can't believe it was on sale. Sorry, but this guy eats instant noodles every day. That constant slurping got on my nerves, so I called him here. You don't have to bluff like that. You just wanted to eat dinner with a coworker, right? Don't be stupid. But eel was a great choice. Nanako-chan loved it, at least. I'd say she's eely proud of her daddy. Huh? <laughs> Did my joke slip away? It is an eel, after all. Just eat your dinner. Y yes sir. Nanako-chan's such a good girl, though. She went straight to do her homework once her plate was clean. It's not every day you get to eat eel. You'd think she would have spent some more time savoring it. You think that because you slack off too much. You should follow her example. <clears throat> Way to hit where it hurts. What's the matter? A motorcycle? You mean a scooter? Oh, that's right. Kids your age can ride those. I don't know, though. Come on, don't be a spoiled sport. It's no surprise he once went out here. I understand how you feel since I'm from the city myself. The trains don't run that often, and walking around everywhere is pretty inconvenient, isn't it? Right? It's criminal. You say that, but... That reminds me, I remember you telling me something once, Dojima-san. About some of the reckless things you did on your motorcycle when you were young. You moron. Think before you talk. And once you're done eating, hurry and... Ugh. It's me. Hmm. All right. We'll be there soon. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Adachi, you were the one in charge of that file, right? File? Oh, did that suspicious guy show up again? Would you keep your mouth shut? We're going back. Get in the car. Back? You mean to the station? But I haven't had my eel liver soup yet. About this license, did you decide on this yourself? No one talked you into it? I know it's hard without a way to get around, but two-wheeled vehicles can be dangerous. Do you understand? It's not that I doubt you, but allowing you to get one is something else. Don't give me that face. I know you're serious about this. First, you need a license. We can talk about this again when you have one. Well then, sorry to dump this on you, but I need you to look after the house. Yo, it's me. How did it go with your uncle? I've been on the edge of my seat thinking about it. Seriously? Then let's go get ours as soon as we can! I gotta hit the books. Let's make sure we both pass together. It seems that Yosuke really, really wants this motorcycle license, since I guess his bike is kind of not working in morning, Yosuke. Seems you didn't get much sleep last night. I went to bed, but little details kept bugging me, so I had to get up and check the manual. It never ended. Uh, I ended up getting almost no sleep at all. Oh, that's the problem. It's probably going to interfere with your studies at school today, but well, if you're going to do this, Let's pass on the first try. How are you feeling? Fairly confident. I mean, 
It's just a scooter. I mean, it's not that difficult from a normal car. And <laughs> that's my partner. I see you haven't forgotten our up close and personal plan. I still don't know what you mean about that, Yosuke, but alright, no, I haven't forgotten. And yeah, let's take it once school is out. That's the plan. God, that kid is late to school every day. Why does he have to run so fast? It's like, oh my god, I gotta get a class 30 minutes early. It's like, dude, chill out, man. Ain't going anywhere. And yes, we don't get to do a daytime event today. And instead, we take our exam with Yosuke. <clears throat> the answer seems to be flowing from your hand. Yay! And we passed the exam. Nice! <laughs> we passed on the first try! Just like we planned! Actually, it was pretty easy. I might have studied a little too hard. Hi! Are you on duty? We just stopped by to get gas, and, well, to take care of some minor business. Where did you guys go? Already? I know it's just a written test to get a scooter license, but still, I wasn't expecting you to pass so soon. Oh well. Looks like I'd better think of a way to convince my sister. I can't say no now that you've gotten your license. Your enthusiasm is catching. Yes! You got the okay! I need to head home and read through the catalog. Well, see you tomorrow. Mind if I borrow you a sec before you head back home? Hey, Adachi. I just finished filling it up. Sorry for dragging you into this. This is my scooter. I had it fixed at the shop. It may be old, but it runs pretty well. I came to put gas in it, but I wasn't expecting to hand it over today, too. I'm letting you have it. You can tell? The local shops don't carry twist grips, so I had one of the repair guys at work help me out with it in secret. Uh, don't tell anyone that, okay? You're always so strict at the station, but you're a cool dad inside, huh? Shut up, Adachi. You always yell at me. Still, I wish we had a sleek means of transportation like that. Who knows when that suspicious guy will show up again? Hasn't he been using professional quality cameras to take pictures of people's houses from the Amagi Inn to around here? Looks like he knows the back streets, too. So a car won't be. Will you stop blabbering like that? Go back to the car. Well, anyway. I was around your age when I got my license, too. I took the test behind my parents' back. When my dad caught me riding a scooter later on, he gave me a good thrashing. <laughs> Don't tell Nanako about that, okay? Since I've already given the okay, I won't bug you about traffic laws. Just be safe when you're riding it. You do that, and I'll look the other way if you decide to ride it out of town. Can you promise me? Good. I'll hold you to that. And wow, that was actually really cool from Dojima. He gave us his old scooter, and as you can ride around town and get a feel for the local roads, you'll be able to go to more places in the future. This is transportation in a Persona game. We can basically go to Okina City and all that cool stuff. But we're going to basically have to build up to that, like the game said. We have to 
get a feel for our roads around Inaba, and then we can go to other places. You basically gotta practice your scooter skills before you can go anywhere else. But, that is gonna just about do it for this episode of Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. And the next part, more social link events. And we might practice our motorcycle. Maybe. Depends how I'm feeling. Anyways, see you guys then. Bye.